Alright, hey there everyone, this is Aokao, I am playing Rain World, in case you forgot. <laughs> I am not supposed to be here. Like, I thought about it, I just thought about the logistics of somehow getting high up back to perfect comma in this place with no food and danger everywhere constantly, and I just do not think that realistically that's going to happen. However, I do have a battle plan. Uh, I know what I want to do and try, and today is probably just going to be dedicated to like, that's not a stick. That can't get stuck anywhere on anything. I do have a plan. Can I get here? I don't think so. Well, maybe if I could plant a stick there, I could go up, but like, that's too sheer for me. But yeah, um, okay. Let me explain what I have in mind. Oh, that, that worked. Great. Uh, let me explain what I have in mind. Well, yeah, so yeah. First of all, we're getting the hell out of here. Okay, there's nothing else. There's like an up here? I, yeah, I cannot reach it. I'm probably gonna die uh, trying to get my way out several times. As I'm dealing with the reality of this thing. I'm surprised I just got through. Gonna be real. Uh, but here's a lizard. Like, unless I can find... It seems to be sleeping? It's an axe hodl type lizard. Wow, great ambush you're laying there, buddy. Did that not get your attention? All right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, see, like, even here, there's, like, no food, basically. Uh, oh, that's all. I thought I was a scavenger. But no, it was a lizard. Oh, I completely misunderstood you. But, yeah, okay. So, yeah, again, just repeating myself, talking in circles. It's all good. Is this not a stick? It looks stick-like here, but I don't think it is. So, I was looking at, uh, the map that Crow was drawing up, um, in, like, on, on the TalkHouse thread. Like, it's not like a map map, but it's, like, sort of like the relationship between different areas, right? Which, uh, I appreciate. So, this is something I feel like I've noticed. Shoreline and industry are the two spots where there is most reliably um, things being... Where the guide is trying to guide me towards something specifically. So there's shore on the right and there's industry on the left. In between, there is waste, which I believe I have never formally gone any sort of guidance there, like, at all. So, that's good. And, um, I guess also there's pipeline, where I did get, where I am now, where I did get guidance. But, doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Oh, now they're fighting? I mean, you're fighting something. Alright, well, have fun, y'all, y'all. <laughs> oh whoops that's a down all right but but so hey here's a lot of food see in, in theory i could go here to bulk up my karma and in preparation of going to um into the gate but i i, I just feel like that is not my destiny yeah, I have been here, this is on the other side of that, so if I want to go, this is the way I probably want to go. Sweet. But, okay, so, yeah, I was talking about map constatation, but, so, the thing is, there is another area in between industry and uh, shoreline that I have not visited in quite some time and I am of course talking about everyone's favorite uh, the Citadel what if 
that's where, like, I feel like the map has been sort of triangulating around the Citadel for a hot while. And now I'm wondering if that is where I was attempted to be guided all this time. Uh, I don't think I can return from here. Whoa, that was not a jump. And then I fall in a hole. It's pretty good. But yeah, so like I'm wondering if... I should, at the very least, peek my head into the Citadel and see if I get any explicit guidance there. If that doesn't work, uh, well, I mean, that's the plan. If I don't get anything, then we'll see. But that's what I'm thinking makes the most sense. I, of course, this implies that I can go back out. If it turns out I cannot go back out of here. I mean, like I said, so the way to get my karma back to full would be exactly doing this. You go over here, you go through this very dangerous little place to get, like, to eat some bugs. And then you go back, you sleep, and you repeat that. Of course, like, I feel like that's just not reliable. Because there is a lot of death here. It's just like, it's very... Well, hello there. It's just, it's lizards and death everywhere. I'm hoping these two fight. I'm kind of stuck in between here. Alright, well. Okay. <laughs> but my point is that, yes, could I farm this up forever until I at some point get lucky survive this every time getting food up and not like losing any progress I want to say maybe honestly it might be easier than what I did in Skyguard and now that I think about it God damn it, now I have to try. But no, no, no. Like, this this was fairly... Some, it's easy on this way. But, like, I need to have consistently something to throw at the moss monster. Which... I will not necessarily have. Like, that kind of breaks this plan apart. But I cannot go back up through up here. Because there is a jump. A single jump. That I don't think is possible. And it's that jump there. That's like in the middle of the screen. Didn't do anything. Everything's there. So. Oh. That leads back up there. Okay. So that's how I'm going to do it probably. Alright. I got myself a direction. Sweet. I mean, he's dead. Okay, I think he didn't see me. No, he did. Now he's after me. Nope, nope, nope. That's right, I bullied him! <laughs> I just pushed him and he went back. Ah, no, what do I do? Where does you go? I've never been inside you. Yeah, you just leave me back here, which is... Which made nothing. There we go, I completed the loop. Yes, I will be taking this. 
Little air. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, um, I can probably, like I said, shuffle back and forth into that cave area feeding off of the, 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 the millipedes. Like, I feel I can reliably jump over the lizards that live there sometimes, but it's, a, it's such a high risk. And the issue is that I need to be able to guarantee that I have something to throw at the moss monster both ways. And that part kind of stresses me out, because that's not guaranteed that I'll have something to throw both ways. So, I don't know, man. Alright, so uh, we're here. Going up. Mostly gonna be known areas here today. Like, it's, this is just the type of day today is gonna be. Um, the map doesn't seem to know if there's something to the side here. I mean, looking at this myself with my eyeballs, yeah, I guess I just never went all the way to the side. That's silly. But hey, maybe we'll, we can just do like some map finishing like that. I don't think those bugs are dangerous to me, right? I don't think they are. Yeah, so like here, finish that map. Da, 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 Ooh, well, here's plenty of food. Oh, okay, I'm already here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's the sound you're making, all right, as you're filling my belly. I've been destroyed by your mom and dad so much. This is called karmic retribution. Uh, and so I want to go up here, I guess. Look at that, already back here. Yeah, so once upon a time, you wanted me to go down here, but like, I just... I find it hard to believe that you legit want me to go to hell. Uh, there's a possibility it got mixed up, because like, thinking about where it's pointing, was constantly... The guide was pointing me when I was in Five Yard, down and to the right. Which could lead me to scum, which would lead me to shoreline. So. <laughs> maybe it's like. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I don't see what else was going on. But anyway, so from here, if I want to leave, uh, uh, I'm going to go. I like doing this, because this does take up, like, clock. But I kind of need to remember where my outs are. Okay, so that's there. Man, this place is big. So that's probably where I need to go if I want to go back to Pipe Yard, right? Eh, there's some unknown paths along the way. That could be exciting. But we're gonna start by going down here and... Try and work our way up, I think. Or I can just go from the side and go there. No, that won't work. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is this path. That does not work. I mean, there's something beyond here, but I could never get past these pool of lizards. Alright, from here, I'm gonna wanna go... up. Ah. Well, if I want to take another quick snooze, we will go up. So, this is uh, the strength of going out of my way and exploring a lot, is that when I'm re-encountering terrain, I have a general vibe of where I want to go for, like, quick stops and stuff. Like, this is me exploring paying off. And it feels very nice. Do those react to explosives? I'm a little shocked. I would have loved to eat that popcorn. Uh. How do I get out of here? Oh, that's a pole. Could have fooled me. Oh, there's a stick, though. Never mind. Eating like kings today! Because they don't know it's my fault, so, you know. They don't know, it could have just been a bird that busted that open. 
doesn't have to be me. That's that. I mean, I'm a little curious. Like I said, you know. Being thorough with my exploration. I was just saying and how it paid off. So let's see if we can maybe manage to get a bit more up. Uh, I don't think I can. Also, there's just... Okay. I don't know why I caught you. I'm just going to release you. Yeah, I don't think I can do that jump. Uh, maybe if I had a stick that I can throw an aim, but I feel like I I found out why I had not explored that previously. Where do you go? Oh, just up there. Just like have it on a map. But again, it's just, oh, there's a dead end here. Well, now the map knows. So if we're ever at a point where I have to go out of my way to like super clear the map in some way, desperately searching for something new, I won't have to wonder, oh, is there a thing I missed here? Like, that's taken care of, basically. I've been here before. I've never been down this one, really? Well, let's find out what it is. I mean, I might as well. Poke, spokes, and little squishy guys. Lots of spokes. Oh, that's the other side of the green puddle. Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's pl that place that I tried so hard to go across. Well, there we go. This is what I was missing out on. Death and a way back to a place I've already been. <laughs> Yay! Well, see, I'm super glad to, have to know this now. Like, it feels great to just know this. Now I get to do this little bit of, like... Acrobatics. Uh, um, can I go back up? I need like a, I need another stick. <laughs> Oh no, I mean, alright, I mean, if I have to die... Uh, seems a little unfair, but... I mean, I don't necessarily have to die. But... This will send me back. Like, I'm basically... Oh, boy. Put in the thing. Throw him off. Alright. Going back. I didn't realize that that was going to be like a one-way drop. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, it might not need to be, but at this point... It's just easier to redo the cycle a little bit. I am full, right? I sure am. Alright, well, <laughs> going back to where we started, but now I have a sharp stick. Uh, I have more knowledge, more importantly. And, uh, I guess, more one more level. Doesn't really matter. But I have it. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, I'm at perfect karma again. Like, if you have a safe area for it, it's pretty easy to go back to high level. These easier spaces. Monk went up. It's pretty good. Like, yeah, like, honestly... I feel like I should maybe just, like, check it out. Going to bed with an empty stomach, huh? Making decisions. That's what we're doing. And I lost Monk after I ate only a bat. So yeah, monk could be a uh, vegetarianism, or rather, maybe a like cause no harm. I thought I, I, a part of me was wondering if that was saint though, because like there was a part where I was just never attacking anything ever, and uh, that era of me ended. 
So, yeah. So, if I go here, and if I kind of spin around here, I can go down and see that passage where I've never been to. And even if it doesn't lead anything, as I've been saying, there is value in just removing ambiguity from the map. So, down here. Oh, well, uh, I might just die. Oh, my stick. So, I've never been here? Oh, it's above the pond, and there is... I was totally holding up! I was totally holding up. But I saw that there was a, uh, pink pearl. I'm currently holding a white pearl in my stomach, but like, you know, there's a lot of those. And so I'm thinking... Trading that for a pink pearl might not be the worst idea. I am not going to save here. Alright, let's try. Not to fall terribly. I'm holding up! Like, I'm holding up, which means you should be, like, reaching out and holding the bar. Why is that not happening? Okay, so, I don't know what I did different. But I did it. Alright, so just... Yeah, throw out this boring white bead and ingest... Did you put it in your mouth? Okay, yeah. Here we go. Replace boring white bean with exciting pink beads. Alright, I think I'm gonna dip here. See, I thought I'd dip here and eat some flowers so then I could see... Sieve? I could save safely. I didn't realize it'd be critters here. But also, they seem to be doing a bit stupid. So, I guess I did was able to get here and eat the flowers and it's all good. Glad to see it! Alright, what's, uh, what's time looking like? Uh, yeah, let's, uh, sleep it up. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the trembles in my controller. Like, you got these color, unique colored beads all over the place. Like, it's clear that they're meaningful for something. I don't know what. I don't know if they're meant just to be trade objects. Like, I do know that they seem pretty impressed, the scavengers, when I gave them the blue bead. And the merchant was thrilled when I gave him the yellow. Like, I don't know if the effect would have been if I traded a white bead. But it does give me the impression of that being like, that's the vanilla, low value, common valuable. What are you trying to tell me? You blinked a symbol for a hot minute, and then you stopped. Because you're terrible. Now, you want me to go down there, right? I get that. But down there is nothing. I have tried to follow that advice before and then it didn't lean me anywhere interesting. Well, that's when I ended up in in the scum sewers. And that just led back to shoreline. And then the shoreline lent to waste and at waste he stopped contacting me at all. Like, that's my guide story. Well, see, now you want me... I think you're pointing up left. Now you're pointing down. But down to where? I've been there before. You know, there is a, this, now you want me to go here, which is where I want to be going, to be fair. This is where I had planned on going. Wait, I've never been here. I've never been here? Oh, 
Oh. Okay, well, that's how you get here, I guess. This is a place you're allowed to be. Yeah, see, so here's the thing. I feel like this is pretty indicative of what is going on. So, this, this guy here, my guide, just pointed me here. A place that I cannot do anything at. So, oh, you're pointing at food now, though, which is pretty nice. Um, like, I feel that, okay, food is there, great. Oh, there's an adult. Why you gotta be here, man? Well, that's not, like, big adult, though, so maybe I'll be fine. Maybe I'll be fine. Yeah. He's, uh, I'm, uh, whoa. Yeah, you want me to go down there, and I get that. I get that, guide. I understand what you're putting down. Oh, I can totally find food on the way. Bing bong. So yeah, I got distracted because I went down there, that's right. That's what happened. Okay, there's more nice, delicious squishies around. That's great for me. Nabbed. Yeah, these will not kill. Uh, but they do stun you, which can be just as deadly. Oh, that's, uh... One of you. Anyway, so yeah, I, like, I recognize where I am. Ah, oh, man. I want that squishy. Get back here, squishy. Oh, well, or I can just eat these fruits. That's also possible. Do I just skip out? Oh, what's time like right now? I got plenty. All right, I can skip that. Like, this is where I'm going to go back to industry. It's uh, through this passage. I'm pretty sure. Yes, you want me to go there. But after a point, like, I just do not understand what you want anymore. <laughs> 